Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a review and swatches of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Um, there is a lot of hype going over this. A lot of people are concerned that it's going to be like the subculture. A lot of people were let down by the subculture just because of the fact that it wasn't what they had advertised it to be. Um, I do have a review on that. I will link that down below and you guys can check that out. Um, but this is actually a holiday palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this is the box that it comes in. I think that this is absolutely stunning. I love the way that they made this. Um, it is just a matte box. Um, it says on the back, it says a luxe holiday eyeshadow collection with 14 shades featuring universal neutrals and prismatic metallics. Um, so you can actually find this on Sephora.com. You can find this on uh, Ulta.com. It also did a restock on Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, the cost of this palette is $42. Uh, you can get free shipping on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. Um, for Ulta, I believe you do have to spend $50 in order to get free shipping. Um, I cannot remember what Sephora's is. Um, I know that you can pay, I think it's $10 and you can get free two day shipping year round. Um, so if you do shop at Sephora, I highly suggest investing your money into that. Um, that way you never have to pay for shipping, no matter how uh, big or small your order is. So that I do suggest that. Um, the palette is made in the US. Uh, you do get seven, seven grams each in your shadows. There are going to be 14 shades. There are seven ultra mattes, two duochromes, five metallic finishes. Um, this, it says that it is good for six months. Um, I know a lot of us are going to keep that past six months. There are palettes that um, I definitely have kept longer um, that have that shelf life and they are just fine. Um, this is a cruelty free product. It is not vegan, um, but if you are concerned about that you do not have to worry about it it is definitely cruelty free all right so when you get to the palette this is it right here it is beautiful you do get that velvet texture just kind of like the other uh just like the previous palettes you do get a mirror i'm going to try not to show you because i will blind you these are your shades right here i think they are absolutely stunning um you know, I saw this and the, my first wanted to compare it to the subculture, um, but when you open it up and you look at it, you could definitely can tell that they are different. Uh, so we are going to start with swatches and then we will get into my thoughts. swatches those are so pretty they swatch very nicely I mean of course like I always say swatches don't compare to what they do on the eyes but at least you get a good idea of what they do look like so that is compared to your pan all right um, you do get where to go you do get a brush hi <laughs> you do get a brush with this I have not tested this out um, I just wanted to really give these shadows a chance um, and if the brush was no good it wasn't gonna help its case so I will be testing this out later um, but my thoughts on this I love it. 
I love this palette. I really wish they would have made this permanent and maybe the Subculture Limited Edition. I think that would have benefited them better. Um, this palette is everything that the Subculture should have been. Um, I would say that this is more so a sister palette to the Anastasia Beverly Hills than the Subculture. It is the same type of formula. I would say I actually get less kick up in this palette than I do the Modern Renaissance. Um, now you only get seven mattes. I would say, so you might have to bring out an extra palette. Sorry, I got it upside down. So you might have to bring out an extra palette. At first, when I went into with this yellow, which is Sphere, um, I did have a little bit of hard time blending, but actually once I went in with a second application, I did not have any issues. And with further eye looks, um, I didn't have any issues as well. So I think it's on that top layer, it's just kind of rough because um, they are a little bit more dry to the touch. Oh no, look what I just did. Um, they are a little bit more dry to the touch than the modern renaissance. Um, so this is limited edition. It already did sell out on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website once already. Um, so I would snag this bad boy up if you were interested because this is everything that you would want uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette to be. Um, once again, you can find that at Ulta. Uh, you can use your points. So I do recommend Ulta of all the places to get it um, if you have any points available um, also I know they have a 20% off coupon right now that includes prestige brands so right now would be a really good time to pick this up from Ulta um, but you can also get the Anastasia Beverly Hills or you can get it at Sephora so uh, wear time it does last all day long I do have it on my eyes tonight uh, I really do love these shadows. They are extremely pigmented. Um, I did have to go in with my finger on, what was it, on Throne in order to get it to work on my eyes. A dry brush is not going to work, so that is something that you will have to um, think about when you go to purchase this palette. But this definitely makes you go outside of the box and just be creative, and that's what I really enjoy about this palette. So... Um, yes, Anastasia Beverly Hills, you did it again. This is what everybody was wanting. This is what everybody was looking for. Um, so good job on this palette. And I hope you guys got everything that you needed from this review. Uh, so hurry up before it sells out and go get your palette. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and I'll have that link down below as well. Um, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.